Hi, my name is Keyshawn, and I'm a program assistant at Beam. Today, we will be looking at the various types of bed adhesion in Cura, a software used for 3D printing. The first thing I'm going to do is open my project by clicking the file icon and then selecting my project and pressing open. In order to view the various adhesion types, you need to select the bar on the upper right side of the screen and scroll down to the panel that reads Build Plate Adhesion. So the three types of bed adhesion are squared, brim, and raft. By selecting the Build Plate Adhesion Type panel, you can choose either of the three adhesion types. A brim adds a single flat layer area around the base of the model to prevent warping. The brim is connected to the model and makes the bottom surface area bigger. This increases the adhesion to the build plate and in the case of warping, the corners of the model are less likely to curl up because of the brim attached to it. Models that have a very big base or very thin parts at the bottom will also stick better to the build plate with the brim. To change the features of the brim, you need to select the gear icon on the build plate adhesion tab and this pops up a new window where you can select the boxes next to brim width and brim only on outside. Then click close. The brim width setting adjusts the width of the brim and the brim only on outside function ensures that the models with holes on the initial layer, such as the donut, only have brim on the outside of the model. This adhesion type provides a solid surface for the object to be printed on and is the most commonly used in the beam maker spaces. You can view the brim or any other bed adhesion by slicing the object, which processes it for 3D printing. By using the layer view, we can now see the brim clearly. By clicking the build plate adhesion type panel again, we can select skirt. Skirt is a line printed around the object on the first layer that is not connected to the object itself. This helps prime the extrusion nozzle and is an additional check for bed leveling before the print begins. However, this option doesn't help with build plate adhesion and isn't commonly used as we have our own leveling test. To change the features of the skirt, you need to select the gear icon on the build plate panel and this pops up a new window where you should select the boxes next to skirt distance and skirt minimum length and then press close. The skirt distance controls the distance between the model and the skirt and the skirt minimum length changes the total length of the skirt. By selecting the build plate adhesion panel once again, we can choose the raft option. A raft adds a thick grid with a roof between the model and the build plate. This can be useful when the bottom surface of a model is not completely flat or has a little adhesion to the build plate. It also ensures that the model will stick better to the build plate. Although a raft provides an excellent base to the 3D printer, it takes a large amount of material and adds to the print time considerably. As a result, it is rarely used in our maker spaces. I hope this helped.